us today. Got some some news for you today. How y'all doing today? But uh, is Halo saved? Has Halo finally, finally been saved? No. No, it hasn't. Is there a promise? Maybe. But Halo is promising to make Halo great again. You know what I'm saying? They're moving to Unreal Engine 5 now. They're, they're rebranding themselves from 343 to Halo Studios now. But there's some... Let's get, let's, 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 let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, just the other day, just before the grand finals of this year's championship, Halo announced that their studio, 343 Industries, will be rebranding as Halo Studios. They also revealed that their all future games would be developed using Unreal Engine 5. In a promotional video, paired with a brief interview on stream, the devs introduced this shift as the beginning of a new dawn for the iconic FPS franchise. However, Despite 343 Industries' 13-year tenure with Halo, many fans remain skeptical, pointing to the franchise's struggle to recapture the magic of beloved original games made by Bungie. Yes, they have failed since Halo 4. Halo 5 Guardians, garbage. Halo Infinite, g -g 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 garbage. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a Halo dude, you feel me? Halo 2, Halo 3, you know what I'm saying? Arbiter was my boy, dog. You know what I'm saying? Halo ODST, loved it. It is a fucking crime. It is a fucking crime that we don't have a Helldiver style ODST fucking game. It, it, it is, you know what I'm saying? But they're rebranding themselves, hoping that, you know what I'm saying, that they're gonna, you know, rejigger some life into this dead brand of Halo that Xbox has fucking abandoned. Let's, 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 let's watch some of this little video, some of this little promotional video, and let's see if you, if y'all can see what I see. Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. This is Casey Wu, take one, Mark. I was told yeah. that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. For six years, I don't want to be in front of a camera. Anymore. There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that I feel like I never run out of things to do. I love... In um, have you played Halo Infinite? Because uh, Halo Infinite ain't ain't that game, bro. That ain't that game. This is the chief of staff for 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 Halo Studios. We're gonna get back to back to her later. Intricate stories that take place across lots of different worlds have lots of different meaningful characters. What they talking about a Halo? I haven't played since Halo Two, Halo Three. You know what I'm saying? What made Halo successful at the beginning? What is the legacy of Halo and what's the soul that we want to bring forward? And what's the craft of making Halo games? And how do we set our studio up best to go deliver on that? We knew we had to make a change in order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on Real Engine, my first thought was, this is going to be a really hard secret to keep. I think facts, facts. You know, and this is, this is sounding promising. Sounding real promising, real good. Fans are going to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibilities that are afforded us by using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. And that's why you failed. You were trying to do too many motherfucking things at one time instead of just focusing on making a compelling story making Master Chief the Chad bro that he is, and have him squashing some motherfucking alien scum. What's hard about that? Give us a beautiful looking Cortana. You didn't do that. Time. Since we've made the chains to shift to UE, we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. And that's one of, red flag, I'm gonna blow my whistle and throw my flag. Holding. 15 years, 15 yards on the play. Repeat. Hold on. Wait a minute. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? What do you, whoa, 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 whoa. She said, what now? We can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. That sounds a little bit more, oh, we're, we're, we're the modern audience. That's what I'm hearing from that. What do you mean that we've never seen before? I don't, I don't, I don't like that. 
Oh, well, what's wrong with how Halo was perfect the way that it was? Two, three, ODST, Reach. Like, let's continue. The Foundry Project was an effort to show ourselves how far we can push things using in Unreal 5. New studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. Let's make it happen. Foundry, specifically, is based around the same concept of the Foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings are born. And see, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. But y'all saw who's running it. Oh, well, good. Like I said, it's not a game, it's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. How about this? How about y'all do this? Because I, I don't think y'all are gonna do this. Let me give you some advice from an old school Halo player. How about you just go back and play through all of the original Halos? And I'm talking about play them get in every nook and cranny of that fucking games of those fucking games and then you know what i'm saying move to the and then cater that to what you're trying to make because y'all been fucking up for a long time a long fucking time all of this is work in progress content made in unreal engine 5 okay Looks good. I mean, it looks good. You know what I'm saying? But looks is not everything. I don't give a damn how fucking beautiful your fucking game looks. I don't give a shit. What does it play like? What's that gameplay like? What's the characters like? You know what I'm saying? What's that story like? Can I get invested in this world? Immersed in it? That's what matters. I don't give a fuck how good the game looks. The game could look 8-bit for all I give a shit about. The original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. It was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire... Yeah, I'll get the gist. It's on YouTube, six minutes or something. I'm not going to get into all that. But let's finish this article, because it looks promising. They talk about, oh, well, we want to give people the greatest Halo experience. We're going to bring them something good, Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, we rebranding. But here's the caveat. Fans were quick to point out that it just feels like an effort to distance the studio from its less than excellent history of 343 Industries. Not going to lie. It's hilarious knowing that they changed the studio name because they needed to specify we are not that studio everybody hates anymore. A user responded, Halo Studios presents Halo, another joke. Some players pointed out positive signs such as the graphics upgrades and capabilities with the introduction of Unreal Engine 5. Exactly like I just said. But another was the changes to leadership. Quote, the guy who was in charge of fixing the Master Chief Collection is now in charge of the studio. That seems to give some people hope. The Master Chief Collection launched in 2014 with some severe technical is issues, including matchmaking failures the, the, and performance problems that ruined the experience. Didn't launch with ODST. That came later. Let's, let's, let me just add that in. I fucking love ODST, bro. The, 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 the quietness, the slowness that you had to take the game, the seriousness. Love fucking ODST. Love that game. However, under Pierre Hintz's leadership, it underwent a significant overhaul with major fixes and content updates that brought back fan favorite features and improved the overall gameplay experience. Yeah, more people are playing, I think more people are playing Master Chief Collection than Halo fucking Infinite right now. Despite this, the overall consensus was vastly negative and unoptimistic about Halo's se seeming revival. Quote, if this future Halo isn't fun, the updated graphics and easier tools won't mean a thing. Exactly. Like I just said, you know what I'm saying? Sweet. A video doc full of a bunch of vague platitudes about the promising Halo future of Halo. Haven't seen that kind of energy from 343 Industries before. You know what I'm saying? Because it took him coming into 343 and fixing the Master Chief Collection. You know what I'm saying? But, so, the previous Halo titles have struggled with maintaining the franchise's signature balance of combat mechanics, pacing, and multiplayer appeal. Elements that Unreal Engine's technical improvements alone may not be able to fix. Ain't, ain't no may. I don't give a damn what kind of engine or system you use. If you have unimaginative, 
uncreative people that's behind making the, the game isn't going to be fun. I don't give a damn what engine you use. It's not going to matter. I ain't no may not be able. It won't fix it. It's not going. It's no, absolutely not. Halo 4 introduced divisive changes to multiplayer, straying from the competitive sandbox field that defined the series under Bungie. Yes, Halo 5 Guardians further alienated players with a disjointed campaign and a fast-paced, mobility-driven multiplayer experience that abandoned the tactical style longtime fans cherished. C correct. Let me read that again. Halo 4 introduce divisive changes to multiplayer straying from the competitive sandbox feel that defined the series under bungie okay halo is not call of duty okay halo doesn't need to be fast paced you know what i'm saying the only change the only change to the multiplayer i somewhat kind of agree with is the loadouts that's the only thing i agree with but the fast pacedness why am i sprinting in a halo game why bring back the old style multiplayer sandbox feel that the, that you know what i'm saying everything doesn't need to be fast paced i can't stand looking on fucking at any of these gaming videos and all you see in these fucking videos is the motherfuckers just switching their fucking guns spinning around the fucking map and shit no stop it that doesn't that that's not halo halo 5 guardians further alienated players with a disjointed campaign and a fast-paced, mobility-driven multiplayer experience that abandoned the tactical style longtime fans cherished, all right? Because, like, yes, Halo 5's campaign is ass. You, the fuck? No. The campaign was horrible. Horrendous, okay? And if they don't change this, I don't care what engine you use. You could use Unreal Engine 8. I know it's not a fucking thing, but you know what I'm saying. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. Even Halo Infinite, despite praise for its return to classic gameplay elements, faced content droughts, incomplete features, and a live service model that frustrated many players. Yes, why the fuck did you do that? Every game doesn't need to be live service, as we see with fucking Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2. Because that dog, me playing that game shows me what Halo could have been, dog. Because Space Marines 2 is like old school Halo and old school Gears of War had a fucking baby. You don't need to be live service for every fucking thing. Why didn't the fucking game launch with co-op in the campaign? Why was you trying? A campaign is open world. That was a lie. The campaign isn't open world. And you shouldn't have tried to do that in the first place. You should have left Halo the way that it was with some graphical improvements. You know what I'm saying? A change here and there. But for the most part, Halo was fine. Because I'm still pissed that I don't have a Spartan laser in that fucking game, Halo Infinite. Why? Why? Why is dual wielding not a thing? Why? Why? Why aren't executions in the fucking game? Why? I'm, look, if you don't change, the way you've been making Halo games, I don't care what fucking engine you use, Halo Studios. Since Bungie left Halo to develop the highly acclaimed Destiny 2 series in 20, Microsoft 343 Industries has never come close to reaching the heights of the classic games. That's an understatement. With the skepticism running deep, shaped by years of unfulfilled potential, the future hangs in the balance with Halo Studios and hints. Like, why is, look at Master Chief, bro. Look at Master Chief. He looks like a fucking hot air balloon, dog. He doesn't look rigid. He doesn't look masculine in that fucking suit, bro. This looks like the fucking bubble wrap version of motherfucking Master Chief, bro. But this is your chief of staff. This is who is hiring people. You, do, you, is this, do you think people are gonna be excited for this when they see this is the people that you're hiring? Let's go, let's, let's read a little bit about Miss Boom, okay? This is a LinkedIn page, yeah. You, you see anything problematic with this? You see anything problematic 
Hi, I'm currently the chief of staff at Halo Studios, the stewards of the Halo franchise. My role is to ensure the smooth running of our studio. It includes a little bit of everything. I'm a problem solver, a process builder, a strategic thinker, an executor, an integrator, a communicator, and an advisor. Basically, this is the best job ever for someone with a lot of interest who likes to stay busy and possess a healthy passion for military science fiction games and lore. Or what? Got the pronouns in the bio. What the what the fuck? No. No. No 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 Why isn't this about how much you love Halo? But wait, it gets worse. I hope you're sitting down and I hope you're strapped in. Melissa joins Xbox Research in the summer of 2015 after earning her BA in psychology from Spelman College in 20 in 2008. She went on to complete her PhD in social psychology and a public health from Columbia. Her research in public health focus on how people's social interactions influence their risk for HIV and substance abuse. You mean, you mean faggots? Cause uh, last time I checked, fecal matter. Yeah, look it up. Particularly with African Americans and Latinx folks. There it is, Latinx, the unknown word that doesn't fucking exist. No, no Latino or Latina calls themselves that. None of them. I know many. Yo, this isn't a problem. For Bless your heart. LGBTQ plus people and women. So, when you say African Americans, you're not including women in that? that that's just African Americans is just dudes, huh? That's, that's just black dudes, huh? What the fuck? This is the chief of staff. This is the chief of staff over at Halo. But hey, they got, they're gonna give us a great game. But also how these people personal resilience could be developed and supported to help them avoid poor health outcomes. Melissa did a stint conducting market research in video games, was which was so much fun and it at so much fun it inspired her to make the leap to the games world. Currently. Melissa manages research across several Xbox franchises and experiences. Yeah, yeah, you wanna you wonder why Xbox is having shit time making good games and giving the Xbox us Xbox people some fun times? Yeah, because they got people like this running shit. Let me go back and read it again. Currently, as in right now, Melissa manages research across several Xbox franchises and experience, including Ninja Theory, Compulsion Games, Double Fine Studios, and the Xbox Store. So every time you open up your motherfucking Xbox Store and you see this dumbass LGBTQ plus bullshit, there you go. She also leads research in diversity, inclusion, and accessibility across Xbox's games and experience. What the fuck is on making Xbox a place where everyone has fun? Ain't that just swell? But there's hope for Halo, huh? No. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And like, like DOA says on fucking Twitter, we're never getting this back. We're not not with this group of people they got running 343. I mean, Halo Studios, don't you know they rebranded? They rebranded. They're no longer 343. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just want Halo to be Halo again, man. I just want Halo to be Halo. But no, doesn't seem like we're going to be getting that anytime soon. Let me know what y'all think about all of this cornucopia of foolishness down in the comment section i'm gonna see y'all on the next one this is your boy signing off